What's going on guys? Yep, you guessed it. Today we're training parkour. For those of you who don't know, parkour is one of the most extreme sports in the world. It's a discipline where you move through your environment in the most efficient and fluid way possible, using techniques like vaulting, jumping, and climbing to get from one point to another. These guys are insane. But I'm gonna be the next Tony Hawk of parkour. I was gonna say a parkour guy, but I don't know any parkour people. <laughs> it's surprising that there's not really any like famous, famous parkour people. I think it's because they get overshadowed as they're normally they're normally the stunt devils, which is kind of sad. First, I'm gonna start with the vaults. There's a bunch of vaults that you can do when you're training. And the first one I'm gonna do is a safety vault, which it's like the easiest vault in the world. You just jump over the thing. Then I'm gonna do a lazy vault. I'm gonna do a cool vault where you like use both hands and I might run up a few walls. You seen that clip in the office where they just run around? Parkour! That's basically what I'm gonna be doing today. <laughs> I also got this flannel because I feel like if I'm running around and it's just flying in the back here, I'm going to look really cool. And if I ever, granted this might not happen, but if I do commit to jumping across a building, I'm going to be like this. And then this flies back. It's going to be cool, okay? I got this scene in my head. That's quite the jump. If I roll though, I might be able to make it. I started off practicing right away, starting with the safety vault. I don't really hop over stuff that much, so it was a little bit of an adjustment phase, but then I got the confidence to jump over the obstacle and I was starting to heat up. The next one I wanna learn is the Kong vault. You like use two hands and you go like that over the object. I'm gonna try to get over this bad boy. It's kind of terrifying. I started off by just sizing it up and seeing what I could do here before jumping right into it, except for I jumped on the side just to see if I could jump over it, but it's obvious that I totally would have clipped my feet and totally ate face. I'm gonna have to come back to this one. It was a little too scary for me. Off wall, hit that, hit that, hit that. Ow, this hurts. Oh. Ow. I kept practicing and tried to get the technique down, really throwing my feet through before just taking on the town. And I started to get a feel for it. I attacked this wall, which it's a pretty tall wall. I was doubtful I was going to be able to just pop over it, but then I turned on the jets. That was kind of awesome. It was pretty awesome, but I really wanted to do some cooler tricks. Quick stop at Quick Trip. I had to get myself a turkey sandwich. This is my go-to at Quick Trip. This with a little protein milk. And that's rule number one about parkour. I've been doing this for about 15 minutes now, so I'm, I'm basically an expert. You need to have fuel in your body if you want to fuel yourself for a lot of this running and going over obstacles and such. Also, falling is really important. I haven't fell yet because I'm, I might just be a natural. But once you fall, you want to do a tuck and roll. The roll is actually probably the most important thing because it's gonna save you a lot of pain. Yeah, but parkour is pretty fun. It seems pretty pointless because I feel like you could just run around a lot of the obstacles. Also, why do you have to go up the obstacles in the first place? I don't really understand it, to be honest. Now, everywhere I look, I'm starting to see parkour obstacles. Like this ladder over here, I'm definitely climbing this next. It's hard to capture a lot of stuff, but it's pretty fun. If this video gets more than two likes, I'm gonna buy up a GoPro and just run around my town, like first person, just doing parkour. I gotta start doing some more extreme jumps though. I'm, we need to ramp it up. I need to do something cool. So this movie shot at the end that we're filming is gonna be mint. Is that a word people say? Okay, back on the grind. That ladder was not very sturdy. That was actually kind of terrifying. Oh, that's a good looking wall right there, if you ask me. You see, in a situation like this, why wouldn't I just like run around it? Because there's nothing on the other side or anything stopping me. Oh well. And three for the show. That thing was like 15 feet. Yeah, I couldn't wait. I bought the GoPro. <laughs> I feel like a video game character. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, this is the greatest idea I've ever had. It's pretty sturdy, but I'm gonna go run around my town and do a bunch of parkour. 
really gonna push my skills, test my ability, really see what I'm capable of, push the boundaries of stuff, maybe get over my fear of heights. It's gonna, I don't know what's gonna happen. Looking good, looking sharp. Let's take on the town. Yeah, I felt kind of weird just rocking a GoPro. I put a hat on to solve that problem. It really hides the GoPro. This is kind of trippy. You know when, you, when you're in the shower and then you just like catch a glimpse of your hands and then you're, you kind of pause and you're like, whoa, like I'm a, 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 a person. I don't know if that's just me, but if you've ever had that thought before, that's what it feels like to have a GoPro on your head. It's messing with my mind a little bit, but let's focus on the parkour here. That's a big jump. It's got a soft fall though. kept running around my town. I'm not gonna lie, I was very insecure about the GoPro on my head. <laughs> Granted, I had a hat on, but I was still pretty insecure about it. I feel like such an idiot right now. <laughs> Although I didn't let that stop me, because at the end of the day, parkour has to be par, par done. All the way up we go. That's not happening. I ran back to the parking garage that I was at before, ready to finally put my skills to the test and make the final jump. I'm gonna scale that 10 seconds. Okay. Not as easy as I thought it was. You know, at the end of the day, I still don't really understand parkour, but I've had a pretty good day and you know, nothing beats this view. I never would have thought that running around my town with a GoPro on my head would be the most fun I had this week, but it was. Maybe I should do this more often. I just have one more thing left to do. Cue the action sequence. Oh, well, it seems like you got me cornered. Or do you? Parkour, baby. What you know about it? I am a parkour athlete. I am a parkour athlete. Good day. What should I try tomorrow? You guys decide. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have any video ideas, so. I have a GoPro now. Let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna get off of this roof before I get arrested. My car is all the way over there.